Hi, and welcome to the Samford University 2015 Southern Conference Basketball Preview. I'm Mike Grace. We start with Samford women's basketball. We talked to Bulldog head coach Mike Morris. First of all, Mike, great to see you again, sir. It's about that time. It's here, ready or not. It is indeed. Let's start by looking back. A 15-15 and 15, uh, overall re record a year ago. Some great non-conference wins over Penn State and UAB. Fourth place finish in the conference. What do you take from last season that carries over into this new year? Well, the biggest thing I was pleased with last season is for the most part, the way we played the second half in the conference play um, with Lydia and, and Brittany broke their hands. Uh, so we didn't have our point guards for a while. So once we got those back in the in our rotation, I thought we did some good things and had some good wins in conference play. Obviously, with everybody back, um, really excited about the potential for this team. Um, but I, I thought the way we finished the year, particularly not necessarily in the tournament, but just down the stretch, I thought we did some good stuff. With all five starters back and a number of reserves as well, that's got to already be paying dividends in, in preseason practice for this year. It does. It really sets the tone as much as just logistics, what to do, what, what drills to do. You know, I don't have to explain a lot. Uh, but uh, the biggest thing we've talked about, given that everybody's back, is we want to be more competitive. We want to be competitive with each other. We want to be... Um, we want to create a culture of competitiveness, not necessarily worrying about your role or where you fit in the team, just compete. And I've been pleased with that. So that, that's been really good and hopefully that's going to carry over as we start playing here in a couple of weeks. Let's talk about some individuals and start with your senior post player who enters this season, I think with 90 career starts already. Taylor Reese is an all-conference caliber type player. She is. I mean, uh, uh, this team will start with her. Uh, She's been here, like I said, this will be a fifth year since she registered a year from injury. Um, she's a heck of a player. I mean, she can score inside and out. She's 6'3". Our offense runs through her. Um, she's one of our best three-point shooters. She's also second on our team in assists. Um, she just graduated nursing this spring, and so she's working on her master's in nursing. So she's just an unbelievable person. I mean, if she didn't play basketball, she would be a tremendous ambassador for the university. But then she happens to be pretty good in basketball. So she's got a lot going on for her. Um, but everything we do really starts with her, with her leadership, her uh, ability to score, run in the offense. Uh, so um, really excited, obviously, to have her back for another year. Great experience in backcourt as well. I want to start with Krista Strickland, who averaged nearly eight points a game a year ago and comes back as just a ferocious defender as well. Well, you're right, Mike. I think that's as um, – she came to us as a high school uh, – graduated high school from Hayden as a scorer and, and could score with anybody. And so she's now one of the best defenders in our conference. I don't think there's any question about it. Uh, one of the hardest working players we got on our team – Hard-nosed, tough, and, I mean, she's always going to get the assignment of the best offensive players. So uh, just with how hard she works and her unselfishness, particularly defensively, that's a great thing. That's a great place to start in the backcourt. Brittany Stevens, you mentioned the injuries she battled through last year. She, that's a great word for her. She's a battler. She is. Uh, she, she packs a lot for a little package, uh, <laughs> no doubt. Uh, she is really season, seasoned, I think. I've seen that this year. Um, as what we want to do, getting us into offense and being aggressive. We talked about we want you to try to get to the rim every time if you can. But if you don't, we need a good decision. And that's one thing she's really improved on is still being aggressive, but still making good decisions. And, uh, again, she's another one of those that goes tremendously hard. Uh, we feel that she's in the game, teams have a hard time pressing us just because she can beat the press. So, uh, um She's a big part of what we do getting into offense. Another one of your returning starters is Destiny Elliott. Uh, started 30 games, all 30 games a year ago as a true freshman. She's a special player. You know, I think you, you can put her in there with Taylor Reese that we've had, even uh, Emily London and Savannah Hills and those type players. She's a difference maker. She's a matchup problem for teams in our league. She can play the four, the three, um, can score inside and out, takes charges. She led our team. As well as she can score, she led our team in uh, charges taken. So, uh, you know, that's a she's got a, she's young, but she's got a ton of experience and been through a lot of games. So, as she's maturing, I think she'll see even a better player this year. Going to be great to have all this all this experience when you look at the schedule you'll face, especially non-conference road trips to Mississippi State, to Indiana, to Georgia Tech, to LSU. Who's helping you with your schedule there, Mike? Nobody. I tell you <laughs> what. Uh, it's hard to get people to come in here and play us. It's the craziest thing, you know. Um, 
but it, so you kind of have stuck with some options. I, I think the, the biggest issue we're having is just, you know, our conference, we only have 14 conference games. So you now you got to get 15 non-conference. So obviously we got Troy here. We go to Jacksonville State. We play UAB. We always want to play in-state teams if, if they will. Um, but we're excited about going to Indiana, Assembly Hall. We're excited about opening up at Mississippi State is very good. Georgia Tech and Atlanta, which we, we've got families and recruits there as well. So um, it is very challenging. It, it really is. And, and that's always a challenge. And, and part of that is just uh, hopefully our competitive nature that we're trying to establish more in this preseason comes out against a very difficult uh, schedule uh, and prepares for those 14 conference games. Great stuff, Mike. Thanks so much for your time today. Best of luck this season, sir. Thank you, Mike. You bet. Head coach Mike Morris with us talking Sanford women's basketball. We'll turn to the men with head coach Scott Paget when our 2015 Southern Conference basketball preview continues after this.